Hey guys, this is Dr. Matt. I hope you're having a great day. I'm drinking some turmeric tea and I'm going to talk to you about two of my favorite nutrients that I use all the time in clinical medicine, um, clinical practice, folic acid and B12. So listen, here's the deal. Folic acid is amazing. It is, it is super critical in so many different body processes. First, it helps us translate essential fatty acids into usable components. In other words, it's amazing for inflammation, uh, brain health, heart health, for those reasons. It's also really important in balancing our immune system. So you need folic acid to build white blood cells. You need folic acid to build red blood cells. We need folic acid to reduce the effects of histamine and our body releases histamine, generally speaking, whenever it's allergic or even sensitive to something. All of this is really critical vis-a-vis uh, kidney health because even if those aren't directly focused on kidney health, it's looking at the whole macro environment of the person, the macro health environment of the person. Um, super important in all of our neurotransmitter production. And so it's really important in mood and mental health. It's really important in managing inflammation. It's really important in hormone health, huge piece of hormone health. So here was a cool look at a couple studies that I found that came out of China. Folic acid may reduce the odds of chronic kidney disease progression, but only in select patients. And I'll let you kind of look for this. This is from helio.com, nephrology, chronic kidney disease. So a really good article. And <clears throat> I looked at a study in China where just it is really good information about the impact of folic acid and reducing the progression of chronic kidney disease. But only when there was enough B12 in the body. So really, if, if you're going to take folic acid, take B12. And let me just give you this little clinical pearl. Not everyone, but at least 10 to 20% of people don't properly... Um, Aren't, don't have the genetic capacity to really use folic acid well. So you, there, there's a certain g genes in your body that deal with methylation. And there's a process by which folic acid in your body is converted to its active form into 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. What? 5-MTHF. Now, your body needs that to be able to do all those things that I talked about early, earlier, but a fair number of people can't do that. Now, sometimes they can't do that because they don't have the gene. Other times, they're just simply deficient in magnesium, zinc, phosphorus, all the things that uh, ostensibly you would get from a super healthy, nutrient-rich diet. But what I would suggest is this. Well, first of all, talk to your doctor. Talk to your functional medicine doctor. If you have a great chiropractor or a great naturopath, work with them. You know, if you're following the kidney disease solution, um, <clears throat> or you, you follow kidneycoach.com, you know, reach out to our customer support if you need some help or you want us to look at your labs. But in general, you, you really aren't going to go wrong taking an activated B complex. An activated B complex. What does that mean? Well, the supplements in there are already formatted in that active form. So methyl cobalamin, that's methyl B12, and 5-methyl tetrahydrofluorate. So what at the end of this, it really says that researchers found that um, folic acid could help with the progression of kidney disease when there was enough B12 in the body. And again, it's not just the B12 that's in your blood, it's the B12 that your cells can use. And B12 is important for so many of the reasons that I just spoke about with folic acid, not all of them, and it has its own amazing uh, impact or positive footprint in your microbiome, your internal ecosystem. So folic acid B12, great food sources of folic acids are deep green leafies, which are also super important in our high pH diet or optimized pH diet. B12 can be a little trickier because the great source of B12 is going to come from red meats. And when we're trying to get people's pH down or I'm sorry, pH up towards more alkaline, we want them to sort of chillax on the red meat. So I definitely recommend a supplement for most people. Anyway, Dr. Matt here. Hope you guys are having a beautiful, great day and sending you lots of love and healing vibes. Talk to you soon.